Good morning, and welcome to the historic Basilica Cathedral of St. John the Baptist. We welcome all of you present and those joining us through live stream. We pray that you are all in good health. We ask that all present respect the instructions given by our ushers and the guidelines in place to prevent the spread of COVID-19, including using hand sanitizers, maintaining a distance of two meters, and wearing face masks when entering, leaving, or moving within the church. At the time of Holy Communion, we will give you further instructions. At the end of Mass, we ask that you exit through the main doors at the back of the church. Our presider this morning is Father Cecil Critch, and our entrance hymn is God We Praise You, 6.33 in Celebrate in Song. Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning again. Good morning, Father. Uh, today we celebrate the uh, dedication of two great basilicas in our church. In, uh, first of all, St. Peter's Basilica, which is not the Cathedral of Rome, but it is where the, inside the Vatican. St. Peter's, of course, was uh, begun in was begun in 323 A.D. A uh, new church was built in 1506. Well, it started in 1506. Paul V and Michelangelo had the design of the St. Peter's, and it took 120 years to finish. That's a long, of course, it's a humongous, huge, huge church. Uh, it was dedicated on November 18th in 1623. St. Paul outside the wall, dedicated to St. Paul, St. Peter was placed on apparently on the site of St. Peter's martyrdom, and St. Paul's was built outside the walls, the Vatican, and it was where St. Paul was martyred. And that was begun, that was built in the 4th century, but it was destroyed by fire in 1823 and rededicated in 1854, a new church. So that's a little bit of history of our church on two great basilicas. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries today as we Look at the beautiful heritage of our church. We ask the Lord to come into our hearts and forgive us for the times we have failed to properly develop and share our gifts and talents, especially with those who need us at the time. We ask the Lord's forgiveness for that.
God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Defend your church, O Lord, by the protection of the holy apostles Peter and Paul, that as she received from them the beginnings of her knowledge of things divine, so to them she may receive, even to the end of the world, an increase in heavenly grace, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. In my vision, I looked, and there in heaven a door stood open, and the voice which I had heard speaking to me like a trumpet said, Come up here, and I will show you what must take place after this. At once I was in the Spirit, and there in heaven stood a throne, and one seated on the throne. And the one seated there looks like jasper and carnelian, and around the throne is a rainbow that looks like an emerald. Around the throne are 24 thrones, and seated on the throne are 24 elders, dressed in white robes with golden crowns on their heads. Coming from the throne are flashes of lightning, and rumblings, and peals of thunder. And in front of the throne burn seven flaming torches, which are the seven spirits of God. And in front of the throne there is something like a sea of glass, like crystal. Around the throne and on each side of the throne are four living creatures, full of eyes in front and behind. The first living creature like a lion, the second living creature like an ox, the third living creature with a face like a human face, and the fourth living creature like a flying eagle. And the four living creatures, each of them with six wings, are full of eyes all around and inside. Day and night, without ceasing, they sing, Holy, Holy, Holy the Lord God the Almighty, who was and is and is to come. And whenever the living creatures give glory and honor and thanks, the one who is seated on the throne, who lives forever and ever, the 24 elders fall before the one who is seated on the throne and worship the one who lives forever and ever. They cast their crowns before the throne, singing, You are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things, and by your will they existed and were created. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm is sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things.
be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. As the crowd was listening, Jesus went on to tell a parable because he was near Jerusalem and because they supposed that the kingdom of God was to appear immediately. So Jesus said, a nobleman went to a distant country to get royal power for himself and then return. He summoned ten of his slaves and gave them ten pounds and said to them, do business with, business with these until I come back. But the citizens of his country hated him and sent a delegation after him, saying, We do not want this man to rule over us. When he returned, having received royal power, he ordered these slaves to whom he had been given the money to be summoned so that he might find out what they had gained by trading. The first came forward and said, Lord, your pound has made ten more pounds. The nobleman said to him, Well done, good slave because you have been trustworthy in a small thing, take charge of ten cities. Then the second came, saying, Lord, your pound has made five pounds. And the nobleman said to him, And you rule over five cities. Then the other came, saying, Lord, here is your pound. I wrapped it up in a piece of cloth, for I was afraid of you, because you are a harsh man. You did what you did not deposit. You take what you do not po deposit, and reap what you do not sow. The nobleman said to him, I will judge you by your own word, you wicked slave. You knew, did you, that I was a harsh man, taking what I did not deposit and reaping what I did not sow. Why then did you not, did you not put my money into the bank? Then when I returned, I could have collected it with interest. The nobleman said to the bystanders, take the pound from him and give it to the one who has ten pounds. And they said to him, Lord, he has ten pounds. And the nobleman said, I tell you, to all those who have more will be given. But from those who have nothing, even what they have will be taken away. But as for these enemies of mine who did not want me to be king over them, bring them here and slaughter them in my presence. After Jesus had said this, he went on ahead, going up to Jerusalem. The Gospel of the Lord. As it says here, Jesus spoke this parable we have learned, heard just before he entered Jerusalem on Palm Sunday. And it said that he did this to counteract the expectation that people were going to make him king right then and there, that the kingdom of God was imminent. If you remember that, they, they, fearing that he would take them king make, king, make him king. And the parable speaks of a man of noble birth who went to a far country and who would eventually return as king, but the people didn't like him. However, the preoccupation for his service was not to be the day of his return, but how they could use the resources he had given them in the here and now to make him more money. You know, Jesus used that story, that's an actual real historical story that Jesus used as a, uh, as a parable, because that's exactly what Herod did. Herod was a nobleman in, uh, in, in Israel. He went off to Rome and, the, and got the Caesar to make him king of Israel, King Herod. He came back, of course, the people hated him. 
so he was a very brutal man. So he came back to Israel as king so he could look after Israel for, for Rome, for Caesar. And of course, as you know from Herod, he was not a very nice guy. And he did slaughter a lot of people, all his opposition, he slaughtered, he killed them, including the babies he called the Holy Innocents, you know, uh, in, uh, after uh, the birth of Jesus. He was a very brutal, brutal ruler. So Jesus uses the example of Herod uh, to talk about himself going away just like he did. Uh, but while they were away, they are to, you know, uh, do good things, use their gifts and talents for that. So what matters to Jesus in this story is trying to tell the people is the generous and, cor and courageous use of our gifts and resources that the Lord has given us for the service of others here and now as we prepare for our eventual entry into eternal life. The eternal life begins now. This is the approach to life the Lord is encouraging us to adopt and not to be like the servant who hid his pound away safely out of fear. That's opposite to what the Lord wants for us to do in life. You know, fear is such a great obstacle to us. It's a great obstacle in life. It can paralyze us. It can keep us from growth in our lives, a lot of growth in our, especially our spiritual lives. We are called to be the bearers of Christ to our world, to use our gifts and talents and resources for the good of God and others. Now, we may fail and make mistakes, but the parable suggests that the risk is worth it that failure is better than doing nothing. Because to spend your lifetime as a Christian and to end up with, at the end of your life, with nothing to show for the opportunities that came our way to love and to be generous and to be kind, you know, we would have squandered our God-given giftedness and our qualities and talents. So Jesus says there are no excuses for that in that parable. There's no excuse. What counts every day is our act of love and kindness that we do for others. Our prayers of intercession today. On this day in the feast of the dedication of St. Peter and Paul Basilicas in Rome, we pray for our Holy Father, for our Bishop Peter and all those who lead and guide our church through difficult times, we pray to the Lord. We always pray, we pray every day for peace in our world, especially in the troubled areas of our world. They grow every day, the number of places in civil strife. We pray for the peace of Christ to fall in our world. We pray to the Lord. Lord Let us also pray uh, today for all the sick, those recommended to our prayers, those at home, hospitals, who need our prayers, especially on this day. We pray to the Lord. And we pray for all the our depart, faithful departed through, during this month of the Holy Soul. And we remember all of our loved ones and those we need to pray for today in the quiet of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the grace and blessings you give us every day. We make our prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. For your goodness, sir, receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. What mystery of this water and wine will become to share in the dinner that Christ will humble himself to share with now to humanity? Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink. Lord, cleanse us of our sins. And 
pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good for the good of all his holy church. Let us pray. As we bring you this offering of our service, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that the truth handed down to us by the ministry of the apostles, St. Peter and Paul, may endure undefiled in our hearts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions and all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, the clergy, and all your people. Remember all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Peter and St. Paul, John the Baptist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
pray with confidence to our Heavenly Father in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And we share the peace of Christ now with one another. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy, not worthy that, that you should, should enter unto my room. room. But only, only say, say the, the words word. and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. A prayer for those who are unable to receive Holy Communion at this time. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come, at least spiritually, into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. To ensure that the reception of Holy Communion takes place in a safe and respectful manner, we ask that you please follow these instructions. Instead of individually replying Amen upon receiving the host, there will be one general attestation of Amen before distribution begins. Please remain standing in your pew until invited forward by an usher. Ensure your face mask is correctly worn before coming forward and maintain two meter social distance in the communion line. As you approach the front of the line, sanitize your hands before receiving communion. Bow towards the host. In silence, receive the host in your hands. Step aside to consume the host. Return to your pew as directed by the ushers. Those unable to receive Holy Communion at, in the hand may come forward to receive a blessing. The body of Christ. Amen. Our communion hymn is Dona Nobis Pacem, 6.2 in Celebrate in Song. Oh, 
let us pray. May your people, we pray, O Lord, and nourished by the bread of heaven, rejoice in commemorating the apostles Peter and Paul, for it is through your gift that we are governed under their patronage through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer to Mary for help and protection during the pandemic. O Mary, o Mary you always Lord, shine in our path as a, a sign of salvation, salvation and of hope. We entrust, entrust ourselves to you, help of the sick, who at the cross took part in Jesus' pain, keeping our faith firm. You, salvation of your people, know what we need. And we are sure you will provide so that as a king of Galilee, we may return to joy and to feasting after this time of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father, and to do as we are told by Jesus, who has taken upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows to lead us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Under your protection we seek refuge, Holy Mother of God. Do not disdain the entreaties of we who are on trial, but deliver us from every danger or glory. And blessed Virgin, Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of us today, Father, Son of the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace now, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God. Have a good day. Our missioning hymn is Sent Forth by God's Blessing, 533 in the Catholic Book of Worship. Thank you.